Hey what's up guys this is Vimal here and welcome back to TRHD. In today's video we're gonna unbox and review this awesome Bluetooth gaming controller from Gamesir. So before unboxing it I want to thank Gamesir for sending me this awesome gamepad for review purpose. So let's start with the unboxing. Let me grab my knife and cut this tape. Wow just look at it the controller comes in an awesome box. So this is a GameSearch G4S gaming controller. It works on both Android and PC. You've got some special features like colorful backlit buttons, vibration motors, precise analog sticks, and a 800mAh lithium polymer battery. And on the other side, you've got some product information and package contents. So that was about this beautiful box. Let's open it. Wow, it looks badass. I like it. The design is really good. You get some nice protective caps for the analog sticks. Let's just put them aside. And in the box, you have a USB charging cable. It's a good quality cable, which has GameSearch logo on it. This can be used for both charging and making a wired connection with your PC. Okay, and along with that, you also get a product manual. This manual has all the information you need to set up this controller. You also have the button mapping for the controller in it. Make sure you read this manual as it can be really helpful. So these were the items in the box. Let's just keep them aside and get up close with the controller. This is the G4S controller and from my first impressions, I have to say it looks and feels really good. The buttons are of really high quality. You've got two analog sticks with precise and buttery smooth movement. It's got a nice textured pattern over here which provides extra grip and feels really comfortable in the hand. Here is the power on button with the GameSource logo at the top. The D-pad and the X, Y, A, B buttons are made with mirror polished technology which gives them that super glossy look. All the buttons feel solid and are built with high durability. You have a battery level indicator at the top with four LEDs. From the top view, you can see the triggers and the bumpers which are of really good quality and you've got a micro USB port at the center. And this is the back of the gamepad. You have a reset button over here. Overall, the gamepad's build quality is really good and it exceeds my expectations. This gamepad has an integrated mobile holder on it which can be easily accessed by lifting it like this. Now this mobile holder supports two adjustable angles that is 110 degrees and 150 degrees which can be changed according to your convenience. Fixing your phone in it is super simple. It's got a spring type extendable clip which can easily hold smartphones from 3.5 to 6 inch screen size. And over here you have two special buttons turbo and clear. So this controller also supports turbo mode. At the bottom there's a hidden USB dongle. Using this USB dongle, you can easily connect this game controller to your PC also. Now let's connect the gamepad to my S7. I'll also show you guys how easy it is to fix this in the mobile holder. You just need to push the clip and insert it like this. It was super simple, right? You can see there is a lot of gap between the power button and the holder. So you don't need to worry about getting it pressed accidentally. Now let's check the quality of this mobile holder. I've tried my best to shake it off but the holder has super strong grip and holds the phone firmly in its place. So you don't need to worry about that. Ok, now let's connect it to my S7. Let's go to settings, Bluetooth settings. Let's switch on the controller. There you go. You can see the G4S controller. Let's pair it. The green light has stopped blinking which means that it has successfully connected to the phone. The RGBY color scheme of the buttons look really awesome. You can see the battery level also here. We're gonna be playing few games like Asphalt 8 and Modern Combat 5. We'll be checking out the performance of the controller. So let's start with Asphalt 8. Asphalt 8 is my favorite racing game. Let's see how it feels to play this game with G4S gamepad. Wow, this gamepad does a great job. It is fast, responsive and there is very minimum delay. The analog sticks have a great control and are precise and accurate. The buttons are also really responsive and good. The controller feels really comfortable in the hand and I'm sure you'll have a great time playing games on your phone with this Bluetooth gamepad. You can also feel the vibrations while playing the game. The strength of the vibration can also be adjusted.
Now let's play some FPS game like Modern Combat 5. This is a very wonderful game when played with this gamepad. The right analog stick is sensitive and used for aiming the gun and the right trigger is used for firing. Playing this game with this controller makes me feel as if I'm playing this game on a console. The analog sticks are really sensitive, so you'll need some time to get used to them. The sensitivity can also be changed from the game settings. The analog sticks are also clickable and are assigned various functions in different games. For example, you can crouch by clicking the right analog stick in this game. Right now I'm playing with the default button mapping, but it can also be changed from the advanced settings of the game. The G4S controller supports a lot of games. I'll leave a link in the description box where you can check all the supported games. There is also a special emulator called Happy Chick that you can download by scanning the QR code on the user manual. Now this is a very nice emulator which has support for many platforms and you can download all the arcade, NDS, GBA, PSP games all this for free. Let me just play a game from the list and show it to you. It is so much fun to play these games with this controller. The GameSearch G4S gaming controller is priced for $50 that would be around 3300 rupees and this controller is really worth it, honestly, because I couldn't find a single thing to complain about it. It works great on Android phones, plus it can also be connected to PCs and smart TVs. The build quality is also really nice and for that price it is one of the best Bluetooth gaming controller. The battery life was also great. I could get about 12 to 14 hours of continuous gameplay with a single full charge. So that was it guys, this gaming controller is priced at 3300 rupees and I'll just leave a link to that in the description box below. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos.